welcome to another virtual table tennis club with Fred. Starting as we traditionally do with side steps, little steps from side to side, playing a shot with your bat ready in between. Uh, I'm not holding bat today, so side steps. And as I introduced last week, every fourth step on the backhand side, I'm going to do a spot turn on the ball to the feet. So, one, ooh, slipped, stop the tape. And as you probably just saw, I slipped. If you're doing this in the kitchen, make sure that your floor is uh, not wet before you start. And two, forehand, three, and on the next backhand, I'm gonna do my spot third. And there we are, fantastic. And next, we're still working on sidestepping, but I'm gonna introduce a little bit of forwards and backwards movement. So, keep the bin out of the way. This time, I'm gonna do a slight zigzag, and I shall be coming towards the camera. So I'm still sidestepping, and it will look a bit like this. And I get really close, and then I'm gonna go back again. Side-stepping away, side-stepping away, side-stepping away. And that's about as much room as I have. And we're gonna have a bit of keepy up -y, and I'm gonna go straight into it with my uh, normal L shape. Can I do 10 on the forehand? So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You can either start by throwing the ball up, or you can start with the ball on your bat, like that. I'm now going to do 10 on the backhand side. You can see the back of my hand. And I'm going to start with the ball on the bat. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And can we do it alternating? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And in other weeks, I've done something called around the table. Um, I have an imaginary table here. And I actually travel with the ball. Hopefully, you'll see me in a couple of seconds. And I'm back. And can I go the other way? I'd also like to see this week, can we try and do some bounce downs? A lot harder than it sounds. Um, knee slightly bent. And the whole focus, of course, is trying to keep the ball under control at all times. So I'm going to do not massive bounces, not tiny bounces. Bounces so the ball actually comes back up to the height of my bat. And I'm gonna go for five. Let's see if I can do it. And one, two, three, four, five. And if I can, I'm gonna go for the backhand as well. One, two, three, four, five. And just like we did with keepy uppies, can I do it while traveling around in a circle like this? And the other way. Beautiful. Uh, if you want to make that harder, try doing it on a table. I want you to imagine somebody is about to serve the ball to you. You might be playing table tennis, tennis, badminton, anything like that. You don't really stand like this waiting. You sort of crouch down, ready. But I'm going to call this in and out jumps. And it basically, it, you're from a standing position and then you crouch down. So, in and out jumps. And let's see if we can do 10 of those. And I'm going to count backwards. So, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. one. Good crouching position, ready to change direction, receiving serve. That applies to all sorts of racket sports, not just table tennis. Imagine you're stood well back and you need to get into the table tennis table really quickly. You're not going to take massive loping steps to get to a table tennis table. You're quite likely to take quite tiny steps. And I'm going to call this fast feet. They won't be loud either. So you won't be clomping around. You'll be on the balls of your feet and you're going to take a succession of tiny steps a little bit like this. And walk back, and fast feet, and walk back, and fast feet. 